it. We everybody. Let's have us feet underneath your knees. Both hands out to the side, shaking, 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 shaking. All your habitual tension, all your habitual holding away from the body, fingers and your wrists in front of your body, down along your side. From here, let's include your elbows with it. Elbows out to the side, motion, 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 motion. Once your elbows start to get going, can you feel that rib cage start to follow you? No? You start to feel a little more buoyancy. Once that buoyancy starts to kick in, shoulders start to go up and down, up and down. Pulsation, 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 pulsation. All the tension, releasing, releasing, releasing. Both hands upstairs, shaking, 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 shaking. In front of the body, shaking, 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 shaking. Away from each other, release, 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 release. Both hands are full into a nice open circle. Here we have it, looking up skyward. Through the mouth, exhalation, ha, spreading of your fingers out to the side, all the air out to the mouth. Again, inhale, unfold, unfold, unfold. Lifting, lifting, space above you. Exhalation, ha, all the air out there through the mouth. Two more like this. Inhalation is deep and long, elongate, lengthen. Exhalation, ha, through the mouth, all the air out through the mouth. One more together. There's your inhalation, we come up. And ha, exhalation, we release, lowering of your arms, lowering of your shoulders down. Both shoulders now up and down again, pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. Turning then palms open, external their rotation. Can you spread your fingers wide, include the finger extension with it. And here now, internal rotation. Ready? Fingers, wrist, elbow, shoulder, external rotation. Feel how that opens up the two corners of your rib cage. Exhale, here we have internal, internal rotation. Feel how that narrows, lengthens the back of your shoulders. Inhale, front of your shoulder opens. Exhale, back of your shoulder. Give a little bit curvature so you can feel the upper back stretching a bit into the space behind you. Now, can we lean up a little further? Like you're lifting up into the sternum. So you get that opening a little more exaggerated. Yes. Exhale. Here you go. Rounding down. Inhale. Turning open. Exhale. Round. Internal. Inhale. Open. Can we take your hand out to the side? Same motion, except now internal rotation becomes this. External rotation, here we have it away from the body. Exhale, bird like motion, round, round, round. Inhale, unfold, unfold into the space high above you. Rounding, here's your exhalation. Inhale, unfold space above you, and exhalation, rounding. Inhale, fingers well extended. Couple more, rounding, exhalation. Inhale, unfold, lifting, lifting, lifting. Round, 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 easy does it. Slowly, slowly, almost like a wave. Wave-like motion. Two more, exhale, going down. Easy does it. Gently, gently, almost like you're brushing air. Yes, inhale, coming up. Nice full circle as you come up, we turn the palms upward, right? One heel at a time, reaching, reaching. After those spiralic notion for your joints, you give them a little one end, a one-sided extension, right? Going into the space above you, feel that. Just do the best as you can and feel for that space above you. If this is okay, let's look up. See if that's okay for the neck to look up and then try the other side. Press and look up above you, right? Both hands shaking, 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 upstairs. Bend your elbows a little bit and really shake out your shoulders, your wrists and your elbows. Notice the difference between here, 
versus down here. Very different, right? So on those days when you don't see me, you need both. And maybe out here, right? Then we always use the circle motion to harmonize everything. Deep breath, inhale, looking up. Exhalation, this time take your whole body with you. Shoulders down, fingers down, looking as far down as you can. Release, two more like this. Inhalation, we come up into the space above you. Exhalation, reaching forward, shoulders down, letting go, going down, forward folding. One more together, here's your inhalation, we come up. Lifting, 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 exhalation, reaching forward. Keep reaching forward with your fingers, right? Then releasing everything, coming down, down, down again. Inhale, returning, dancing fingers upstairs. One hand at a time, almost like you're reaching up towards the heavens into the stars above you. Yes, it's so very far away, but don't want to stop you from trying. Looking up with your eyes, see if that's okay for the neck. If this one feels fine, can we gently turn to the side? Turn to the side like you're reaching for the stars behind you a little bit. Huh? A little behind you, a little bit behind you, a little bit behind you, reaching up and looking up. You do want to, again, access your peripheral vision and let the muscles around your eyes do a little bit of weight lifting almost. Lifting upward, going up behind you, looking back. Those places that you usually don't go into, right? Going back one at a time. Okay, both hands horizontal out to the side. Deep breath, right side. There's your exhalation, sing, sing, sing. To the right, inhale, both hands will rise like the sun, rising sun, exhale, forward folding, shoulders down, looking down towards your feet, letting go. Inhale, returning, horizontal hands, exhalation, left side, coming down, releasing shoulders, down, 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 down. Inhale, both hands, extension through the fingers, Almost like rays of light coming forward from the heavens, down, 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 down. Shoulders coming down. <laughs> Continue, same side, full extension first. Going to the right, there's your exhalation. Drop the lower shoulder, down, down, down. Inhale, both hands will rise. Easy does it, almost like vapor. Exhale, reaching forward. Toss those fingers forward almost like the ocean waves, they come towards the shore. Going down, looking down. Inhale, here comes the sun, open, both arms up. And exhalate, horizontal, sorry, to the left side, going now to your left side. Then inhale, both hands rising again, wave-like motion in your arms. Reach further away from your fingertips, going down, down, down. Shoulders coming down. Then inhale, returning. Right hand on the top as you cross the midline. Catch hold then of the shoulders. Elbows, pointy elbows going up. How about looking up with it? How about going down? Almost like you're rounding the body into a little circle. Yes, and then inhale. We stretch the front side, front of your rib cage. Exhale, going down, almost like you're stretching the back of the body. One more, inhale, lifting, 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 lifting. Exhale, going down, shoulders down, looking down towards your feet. Next inhalation, coming up again. But this time, on four, on four, on four. Open, almost like a water fountain, out to the side, releasing, releasing, releasing. Both hands going forward, turning the palms out. Here you have, inhale, up above you. Away from the body, just do your best, reaching, reaching, almost like you're going for a reverse circle, right? Hang on, before you did this one, forward motion. Remember, with your body down, 
Now we keep the body upright, do the reverse motion. Inhale. Yes. Exhale. If that's too much, look, bend your elbows, just work it here, or relax your arms, just work it here. That is your reverse motion. This is the same articulation as this one. This one is just a little more lengthier. That's all. Okay, two more like this. Reverse motion, inhale, shoulder or the whole arm. Behind you, we're going to reach, 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 low fingers. One more, inhale, coming up. Reach, reach, reach above you. Use the fingers to help you. See if we can get a little more extended. Left elbow on the top as you cross, catching hold of your shoulders. Elbows will lift, that's your inhale, rise. Rounding down, chin in. Lowering down, lowering down. Inhale, elevate, space above you. And here, exhalation, rounding down, chin in, navel in, coming down. Last one together, there's your inhale, elevating, elevating. Exhalation, chin in, going down, shoulders will come down. Next inhalation on full, both hands will go forward. We turn the palms out again. Remember this one you did, inhale, open. And behind you, reaching your fingers, like you're spreading the wings out to the side a little bit. Okay, one more together, inhale, lifting. Then exhalation behind you. Now, because you're familiar with this one already, can I ask you to do one more? Eyes closed and also on your own. Do it at your own pace. Ideally, it's your inhalation that's coming up. Ideally, it's your exhalation that's going down behind you, right? Now, try one more time. Eyes closed at your own pace. No rush. Don't think about anything except your breath that carries the arm behind you, like you're drawing with your arms. Yes. After this one, both hands horizontal, and you just do your one more wiggle wiggle thing. Fingers to your crown, dip a little weight there, and push into your fingers to elongate. There it is, your invisible thread. Upright spine, nice and tall, right? So all that ribcage activity that you just did earlier will eventually bring this thing to you, uprightness of your posture. And that's really, really important. Okay, now keep it here. Keep your chin stabilized. Ready? Now I'm going to ask you to imagine there's an invisible clock around you, all right? So without moving your chin, looking up, invisible clock, right? 12 o'clock. Not moving your chin. Looking down, six o'clock. 12 o'clock, six o'clock. 12 o'clock, six o'clock. 12 o'clock, six o'clock. Between 12 and six, fast ones. A little faster. Okay, eyes closed. Inhale like you're breathing into your eyes rather than your nose. Relaxing of your shoulder without dropping your uprightness, please. Exhale, relax your shoulder. Inhale, eyes open. Ready? Keep your chin in. Stabilize your midline. Looking over to your three o'clock. Looking over to your nine o'clock. To your three. To your nine. Back to three. Now, how far can you see out there? How much of the furniture or the space in your room are you able to see? What is the capacity of that peripheral vision? Slowly maneuver that gaze out to your nine o'clock. How far of that peripheral vision are you able to see without losing your focus? Try, okay, back to three. So you know what it means to find that focus. Acknowledgement before you move on to nine. Three, nine, three o'clock, motion, nine o'clock. 
Straight across the horizon back to three. Cross the horizon back to nine. On your own now, between nine and three, without moving your chin, without moving your center, without moving your foc uh, losing your focus, can you do a little fast ones? Faster. Add a little speed. Yes. And eyes closed. Inhale like you're breathing into your eyes rather than your nose. Exhale, keep the upright but relax your shoulders. Inhale, eyes open, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Back to one, breathe please. Back to two, back to three, Four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock. Eyes closed. Inhale like you're breathing into your eyes rather than your nose. Feel how much lengthier this inhale becomes after your eye exercise. Same thing, exhale slow and complete. Keep the upright, but relax your shoulders. Now keep your eyes closed. Go through that clockwise motion, but with your physical eyes closed. Eyelid down, but look, 12 o'clock. One, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. On your own now, one more clockwise with your eyelids down. So because your optic nerves are so close to your brain, every time when we do these eye exercises, you're also giving a little exercise for these brain neurons around that area a little stimulation for your brain cells, a wonderful thing. Okay, now let's open your eyes. 12 o'clock again. Ready? Anti-clockwise. 11, 10, 9 o'clock. You are very familiar with 9 by now. 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock, two o'clock, one o'clock, back to 12. One more, back to 11, to 10, nine o'clock, eight o'clock, seven o'clock, six o'clock, five o'clock, four o'clock, three o'clock that you're familiar with, two o'clock, one o'clock, back to 12. Now, eyes closed, inhale like you're breathing, soothing breath into your eyes. Put your mind there and you'll feel it. Can you imagine you're exhaling, releasing tension from your eyes instead of your nose, breathing out through your eyes? Keeping your eyelid closed, scanning your spine, make that upright of effort. With the eyelid closed, empty clockwise now, 12 o'clock. 11, 10, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock, back to 12. On your own now, anti clockwise. You're always striving to maintain the uprightness of the spine the fullness of the breath. And of course, you're always trying to challenge, can I do a little more compared to the last round? Can I have more stability? Can I have more focus, more patience every round? Okay, imagine you're breathing into your eyes. 
Exhale, almost like you're breathing out from your eyes rather than your nose. See if we can feel that. Okay. Then gently, hands will come together. Warm your hands <clears throat> like you're making fire. Takes a little patience, doesn't it? I exercise. Breathe now the warmth of your hand into your eyes. Deep breath. Exhale, learn to let go all the tension from your eyes out into your hands. Heel of your hand, gentle, gentle massage around the circle of your eyes. How about using then tippy fingers, like little raindrops, a little tapping the eyelid close, a little tapping around the muscles around your eyes, right? Two thumbs will fit perfectly where the nostril and the eyebrow meet. Give it a little bit gentle, gentle massage, a corner pressuring, almost like a curvature massage, right in that corner for your sinus, so you can breathe even better, right? Okay. So bring your hands to the back of your head, like you will know where the back of your eyes are. Feel where your hands are, eyes closed. Inhale, imagine where your hands are, you're breathing into the back of your eyes. Use your hand to show you how to direct energy into the back of your eyes. With patient, exhale out through your eyes. Use your mind, imagine you're breathing out into your eyes. Try that. Use your hand to show you how to breathe into the back of your eyes, meaning the back of your head, back of your in, inner cavity of your brain. Feel what that does to your posture. Can you feel what that does to your posture? Keep the posture, exhale, relax your eyes. One more. Use the position of your hand to show you how to invite breath attention into the inside of your head, the cavity in the inner cavity, in the back of your eyes. Feel what that does to your uprightness. And exhale. Now, while you're here, can you motion your elbows a little bit? This one will give you the awareness of this guy. Can you feel that? Okay, both hands away from the body. Remember you did this one. Let's do, come back to this one again. But we have internal rotation. Their internal rotation, they are here exhalation. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale, feel that. I'm gonna keep you here and put the other hand, feel that and maybe use the pad of your fingers. If you're not too ticklish, give yourself a little bit of massage. I just wanna show this to you. Now, if this is too much, you go a little more upright. I just wanna show it to you so you learn how to make space in your rib cage and you give these tissues a little bit of massage with your own hands, self-care, right? Here's your lymph node station. Sometimes you can give yourself a little bit of gentle encouragement, a little stimulation massage. And of course, when we do the padding later, that whole lymph node station gets well taken care of, right? So I don't know about you, like I have some broken ribs here. So for me, it's like, I cannot do without the self-care every single day, right? Gently, gently massage. If you take your hands down a little bit, Right? You can use the heels of your hand to give your intestines a little gentle, gentle massage down here as well. But the space needs to come first. Otherwise, you feel a little cramped in. Once you have the space, use the heel of your hand to go in there. A little gentle, gentle massage. Yeah? Self-care for the digestive organ. In a massage, you know how your hands will fit right perfectly right in there. Little by little, it shouldn't feel painful. It shouldn't feel too tender. It should feel good after a little while, especially if you go for that spiralic circular mobility, circular motion, right? 
So this, when you're doing this, look what happens to my shoulder. My shoulder is also getting a little bit of gentle rhythmic exercise. And that's a wonderful thing. It helps this and it helps that. Both goes both way. And also, let me just show you something. Make a little fist, tuck it right there in that corner. And as you come forward, bending, you're giving the intestines a little gentle massage. Can you feel that? And after a little while, you'll get used to massaging your organ. You can even put a little bit of a, like you're kneading a little bit, like you're making, yes, you can feel different areas, right? So that's a really nice self-care thing to do. Something that other people can really do for you because you know exactly how deep and how much pressure. And always rule number one is to be very gentle to yourself. Comfort zone is your priority, right? Okay, horizontal hands. Let's try second side. Sink over to your left side. Gently, gently, spiralically, reaching out to the left. Elongate, elongate, elongate. And release, and elongate, elongate, elongate. Feel now. Easy does it. This is an internal spiral. And of course, like everything in nature, once you get used to it, you start to feel like, oh, I can find that momentum. I can be a little more rhythmic about it. And that is a really beautiful way to stretch your muscles and your tissues, right? Now, the other hand, go in there, feel this extension. We definitely want this. We do not want this. When we're slouching, look what happens to this guy. What else do we have? Unfortunately, we have gravity. Right, so these extension, whether it's the side or up here, feel that, feel the difference. Feel using your hand to caress, to massage it and acknowledge it. If you're not too ticklish, you get used to massaging every single rib, like I do, every single rib. Yeah, it started because I have injuries here. But after a while, I realized, oh, you don't really, if you skip a day, you really feel uncomfortable somewhere else. Because the body is like a beautiful piece of garment. If one thread tightens or loses, it pulls on the other side, right? Gentle, gentle massage. You can go into the space on your side, up a bit higher, lowering down towards the lymph nodes area, whatnot, all these ones. For female, the breast tissue gets well stretched and that's a really important thing as well, isn't it? Okay, so there you have it. Let's bring your hand, heel of your hands to the corner. Right side, I would say, I would suggest usually start with the right side, especially in the morning because your morning time is your digestive action time. Okay, because that's your ascending colon on the right. Use the heel of your hand, a very gentle massage. Like you're giving a little bit of pressure, just enough that it feels good about it, right? And you can mobilize in different spots, different areas. The more you tend to your body, the more your body actually starts to speak to you. You start to understand your preference, you know? your inclinations and your preferences, your strengths, and the part that's being neglected, you tend to it, you give homage to this incredible mm, body. Okay, try now, how about a little fist, right side, ascending colon. Coming forward, you know this forward bending, come to that place where you can feel a little pressure, your fist is kind of digging in a little bit, a little encouragement, like you're massaging it. And sometimes instead of the heel of your hand, you can use the little fist if that feels better. And when you bend forward, yes, you're adding that pressure. Please just come forward to your comfort zone. It doesn't have to be so deep. The more you tend to these intestines, give your body these massages, 
the more you get used to it. Okay, as long as we're in the digestive se sector, let's start with the right side, all right? Ascending colon going upstairs. Travel across the diaphragm. Descending colon going downstairs. Yes, so basically we are doing almost like a clockwise circle. Right side going up, horizontal, left side going down, right? So this is the direction. Right side ascending, left side going down. Digestive organ. And right here is your diaphragm muscle. Diaphragm is going to like it, right? If this feels okay, you can add a little weight, especially on the coming down version. Yeah, you per, you're promoting the digestive tract. Okay. Clockwise circle. This is a really nice one. Okay. The counterclockwise is not so advisable only if you go too much. If you want to reverse the flow, you go reverse. But generally, we want to help the flow, right? Okay, can we try, before you did one fist at a time, how about if you take both fists, right, right corner and left corner? Easy does it, just give it a try. Testing, testing. Can my body take a little bit of pressure there, right? Hang on just a moment. It would be better if I wiggle you up a little bit higher. Make space before we put that, make space before we put that fist there. Okay, now coming down. Chin in, gently, gently. How about, look, a little bit of pulsation motion. You're giving yourself two things. Forward folding, meaning you're stretching the back of your spine, the back of your hip, your lower back. And another one, you are, because your fists are there, you're giving your body a little bit of gentle abdominal a digestive massage as well. Okay. The inhalation, we release, coming back. Once you return, let's take your right leg out to the side. Both hands will go tapping, 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 down, 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 down. And we're going tapping. And tapping down, going down. And tapping, boom, 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 and tapping down. One more, tapping, 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 tapping. Same direction, brushing and harmonize and brushing and brushing and letting go and looking down. Same leg, we reach that leg away from the shoulder. Gently tapping, tapping, tapping of the ankle. Oscillation, side to side, side to side. Flexion of the ankle, extension of the ankle. Flexion, extension, and flexion. Let's take your hand with the external rotation. Inhale and exhale. When you motion your wrist and your ankle, notice how your elbow and your knees will follow. Try now, internal rotation, opposite rotation. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale and exhalation. Torso will face towards that leg. Fingers relax, back of your wrist will come up. There's that inhale, lifting, lifting, lifting. Shoulders forward, down, 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 down. Releasing of the fingers. Again, inhalation is deep and long. We come up. And exhalation, slow, slow and complete, reaching forward. Shoulders down, down, down. Unfold again. There's your inhalation coming up. And here's your exhalation, going down, down, down. Shoulders will release. Couple more like this. Inhalation is deep and long. And here, exhalation, slow, slow and complete. Inhale, returning, coming back. 
And exhalation, lowering of your hands, lowering of your feet, back to the center. Both hands we go, servicing left leg, tapping now, boom, 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 down, 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 down. And we go in tapping and tapping down. Both hands from the upper leg down to the ankles. And we're going tapping down. One more. Tapping, 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 tapping. And direction, brushing down. And brushing and letting go. Drop the torso down. A really nice forward folding release. Brushing and then brushing and brushing. One more brushing. Same ankle out to the side. Give it now a little tap, tap, tap. Shake, 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 shake. Flexion, extension. Back of the ankle, front of the ankle, back of the ankle, front of the ankle back of your ankle, really important back of the ankle stretch every single day, right? Otherwise, the knee won't feel good. The lower back will not feel good, yeah? Hang on, let me just show you. Because the back of your knee, if you don't stretch it, it starts to pull back here and we start to see this posture, right? So if your legs can straighten up, you have a better chance to straighten up everything back there, yeah? Just always remember, like tree, like flower, everything starts from the bottom up. Absolutely. Yes. So absolutely ankle circular rotation, very important. You can do this on your seat. You can do this lying down. You can do this when you're watching TV. Just put your foot up and do a little circular rotation. I would say every day. Why not? Why not? Okay, once you finish this one, facing torso there. Here we have, inhale, coming up, lengthen, 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 exhalation, shoulders down, forward folding, chin comes in. Again, inhale, lifting, lifting, space above you, exhalation, shoulders going forward, down, 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 lowering of your chin. Two more like this. Here's your inhale, lifting, lifting, lifting. And exhalation, shoulders forward, down, 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 down. Release, release, release. Last one together. There's your inhale. Look towards your hand. And here, exhalation, shoulders down, release, torso forward, down. Inhale, rise again. And exhalation, we return. Let's do your next one, the next last bit, standing up, right? So, but if you feel like staying on your seat, you can totally do it on your seat. We're just going to take care of your hands. Stand in a comfortable situation. Right hand is the giving hand. Left hand stretching open, right? So, from the fingertips going now into shoulder and your neck. So when you do these finger arm tapping standing up, you just let your body motion with your arms. Yeah? Fingertips coming up into the shoulder. Here your lymph node station. Tapping, 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 tapping. And fingertips. Allow your body to just move very intuitively lightheartedly in space when you're taking care of your arm. Okay, one more. Fingers coming into now your shoulder and the neck. And we come in brushing and brushing and brushing up along your whole arm, going brushing and brushing and brushing. Same arm, we turn that palm open. Armpit region. So I just want to have you experience when you do the arm tapping, brushing, standing up, you can really allow your body to kind of in a playful manner, motion about in space, like the way I'm doing, right? 
Your body is going forward. You're ushering the body forward. And you'll be locked back every time when you return. Right? Here we have it's a rhythmic activity every time. Release and exhale and exhale. Get into that motion where you feel the rhythm and then you feel the momentum. Right? Shoulder in the elbow, shaking, shaking, shaking. So that whole rhythmic part, I think, will mark the biggest difference from the thing that the thing that you do versus the thing that other people do. Is adding the motion when you become intuitive again. Tapping, 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 tapping. And fingers going up along your shoulder. Boom, 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 boom. Lift notes, right? Station. Always a little extra support. Plus, you have this big artery station here. Tapping, tapping, tapping. And fingertips going shoulder and leg. Boom, 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 boom. Fingers going up. Tapping, 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 tapping. And fingertips going now. Tap, 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 tap. Same direction, going brushing and brushing and brushing. Like you're inviting fresh, fresh energy up along your whole arm, right? Polishing, polishing. Same palm, turning that palm open. I'm Fidrigian. Tapping down, 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 down. Just allow the rest of your body, your legs, move about in space in that sort of carefree fashion. Meanwhile, make sure you feel your toes though, so you are grounded regardless, right? One more, tapping, tapping, tapping. And direction, brushing, and then brushing and brushing, and brushing, and letting go. Same arm, give that shoulder and the elbow a really nice shaking, shaking. And your fingers and the wrist, shaking, shaking, shaking. Taking your feet hip distance apart, hands to two, your two, two pockets. Okay, bend your knees as you wiggle, wiggle your toes a little bit. Mobility, clockwise circle. Almost like you're tracing a circle with your base of the tailbone. And try to circle your hip in the way that right and the left side of your hip are somewhat aligned to each other. Okay, lubrication of that hip. Let's feel now just the right side. Just bend the right knee, just the right hip. Feel that. Now anti-clockwise, just the right side. Yes. Your left side is kind of empty, just the right side. Circle, feel your hands right in that pocket. All right, both feet are parallel. Anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. Just remember, motion is lotion. This goes under your category. Don't sit still, right? Don't stand still. And wiggle, wiggle, lubrication of your hip joint. Very, very important. Okay, add a little speed. So everybody freeze. This is an example of an unlubricated joint, hip joint. Nay, nay, nay. Yeah, don't wait until the hip starts talking to you. Just lubricate circular mobility. Clockwise, anti-clockwise, but this time let's go to our left side. Bend the lower knee. If you can, try not to rely on the right leg. Okay, left hip, clockwise circle. Testing, testing, testing. How is the hip joint doing today? Because you stretch out all this part earlier, can you feel how that influences up here as well? You become more aware of these interconnections, don't you? Okay, opposite. Again, let that be a rhythmical thing. Let that be a rhythmical thing. In this hip, but also feel it on the soles of your feet, all the, all the four corners of your feet. In a very well-rounded way, you're also taking care of the ankle bones as well. Okay, returning, give your legs a little shaking, shaking, shaking. 
shaking, shaking, stepping and close together. How do we start? Always shaking, 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 right? Ending, you can shake out your legs. Okay, let's uh, just in that standing position, three circles to close. Always good to end your practice with some kind of harmonization awareness, right? Inhalation in that very well rounded way, like you're harnessing, harmonizing the energy around you, midline to remind you of that upright center again. One more together, like you're taking in all that light, all that goodness, all that nourishment back into yourself. Returning, returning, returning. So anytime when you're in your standing, just a little reminder, say hello to your toes. Look at your toes. Every time when you say hello, when you when they when they say hi to you, can you see the activity of the arch of your feet, the soles of your feet, the top of your feet, even your ankles being activated, right? So when your toes are asleep, all those related mm, engagement are also weak and sleepy. So I can't stress the importance of wiggling your toes. Okay, everybody, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you next week.